Hey guys, and um, welcome back to another video. Today, I will be showing you guys how to make, mm -hmm, how to make this monster tail hook cozy. It is, ooh, that has a hair on it. It is very easy to do, and I will be showing you how to make this. So let's get into the video. So what you will be needing is your hook. I'm gonna use my hook that has the hook cozy. You will also need a monster tail and some rubber bands. So let's get started. You can have your loom in this, whatever configuration you want. And we will be using these pins we'll be using one two three four five five pins so first we're gonna grab our first color that's gonna be the top color i'm gonna make this in the pastel bands so we're gonna grab our bottom pastel band we're gonna grab one band and you're gonna do a figure eight I'll get closer so you guys can see a little better. Then we're going to do our next one, also a figure eight. And I'm going to do our next one, also a figure eight. All of these are going to be figure eights. Okay, so now when you arrive to that pin, we're going to go ahead and do another figure eight connecting these two. And we can push our bands down. You can just use your hook and do that, but I personally think it is better to use my fingers. Next, I am going to do a layer around. You always have to start on this pin. So just put it on. We're not going to be crossing anymore. Whoa, just got a mint band right there. Um, if you guys don't have a monster tail, there is a way you can make it on, you can make your rainbow loom into a monster tail. You will need two rainbow looms to make it into a monster tail though. So if you only have one rainbow loom and you want a monster tail, it is better to purchase your own monster tail. I found this at Michael's, actually. I went on to, I went on a band spree and got the monster tail. So we're going to do another row on top of it. So it's basically like a fish tail almost. Except that it's in the, on the monster tail. So yeah guys. I'm going to be making rainbow order here. Okay. Now this is the part where we grab our hook. We're gonna grab our hook and we're gonna flip over these bands. There are always gonna be two bands. So flip out over the bottom two bands. The bands that we put in the figure eights. Um, uh, this is not my original design. This design was created by Made by Mommy. So, I will try to link her channel down below if you would like to see the original tutorial. So now we are going to go ahead and do another row. We are basically done with the beginning pattern and this is going to be the pattern for the whole hook cozy. So all you're going to do is just flip over the bottom bands and add a new row of bands like this in whichever colors you would like. Oh, and if you are a beginner doing this, I suggest you use um, three colors and not more than three. So just so you know. Now we can go ahead and grab our bottom bands and flip over the top ones again. I personally made, this was my first one ever, actually. 
I personally really like these hook cozy things like to decorate my hook and if you're wondering why don't I put it over here it's because I really like cooking without a big fat thing over here so I decided to make it small and put it up here so for about this length you'll need you'll need to go around for like like 10 times and if you would like up to here length you would have to go around like 20 so just so you guys know about that. Made by Mommy also has that stuff up on her channel. I don't know much about this. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm done flipping over those fans. Then I'm gonna do my next row in the dark teal. I personally am going to make this the short version again. This also works as a pencil grip, actually. Let's use this pencil. It's not a pencil, but it's a hook. I mean, a pen. So let's take it off of this hook right here. It is pretty, oops. Whoa, I forgot that this was tied on to it. Oh, yay, no more noise. <laughs> Um, it is pretty hard to take off of your hook, but, yeah. You can also use it as a pencil grip, but I personally am going to use it as a hook cozy. And, and I am going to, I wasn't, I don't remember what I was going to say, but, I'm going to show you how to do this. Sorry that I'm talking in a little lower because my, I don't want to wake up my sister. So I'm going to show you how to do this a few more times. So guys, I ended up waking up my sister. Say hi, Nikki. Hi. My sister just, um, she was sleeping. So that's why her voice is a little weird. But as I was saying, I'm going to show you how to do this a few more times like two more times and then I'm gonna do the rest off camera and come back to you when I'm done but um, I'm gonna show you how to keep on doing this so remember start from this pin so you're gonna keep on so you're gonna keep on doing this step like this so now that you've placed everything over. So we're just going to flip over the top bands again. Remember, you are always going to be flipping over, oops, the bottom bands. And make sure to push the bands down because then these bands are going to pop off and your creation is going to be ruined. So we can start to see our pencil grip or hook cozy forming. From down here of the monster tail that is what I like about the monster tail actually because like you can see your creations growing from the bottom that's what I love about the monster tail now I'm going to show you how to do this one more time and I'm going to go ahead and do the rest off camera after so you are going to once again place your row from here to here here to here and grab your next color again mm. I need that here to here. Um, here to here. And then to close the whole thing off, here to here. And then once again, we're gonna flip over our bottom bands. What can I talk to you guys about? Um, in, in, Oops, my rubber band just popped off, guys. But, um, actually, in my neighborhood, the playgrounds are starting to open. open. So that is pretty neat, guys. Like, during this pandemic time, most playgrounds are closed, so really happy. We went to the park today. So that is pretty good. So now you're going to do the rest of this. You're going to do the rest of this. By yourself. I'm not going to show you how to do the rest of it because I'm going to do this off camera. 
So I will come back and show you guys how to close it when I am done. So guys, we, um, we're in the middle of the process here and my sister, Nicole, is going to help me do the rest of the bracelet. I mean the, the hook, oops, the hook cozy. So you, um, I'm gonna put this in hyperlapse, but you're gonna see me and my sister work. So yeah, she's also gonna be using a hook cozy one too. But yep. she's using a yellow one. Do you wanna use the plastic one or do you wanna use the metal tip? Metal tip. Okay. Now my sister's done looping a row, so I am gonna do the next row. Oh, and if you guys didn't know what this is for, it's just to make your hook a little cuter, actually, and it's called a hook, I mean a flower top. Like this. Yeah. Done the wool melt. You can go in and flip over the bottom two bands. Okay. Now, since you flipped over whichever color is on the bottom, and make sure you flipped over all of them for all of the pins so and if you want it to make sure that it's a little longer you can stretch it hey. like this stretch stretch and let's see how close we are to Guys, I know this is pretty bad lighting, but just maybe deal with it a little because my sister has to see and no, 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 this one to this one. And um, we just want you guys to see better. So see how it looks that way. So we're just gonna keep the light on for my sister and then we'll go back to the normal lighting. So sorry guys. Actually, an orange. And then go from this one to this one. This one is and when you're putting your rubber bands, make sure it looks like a U. Like this. A U? Yeah, see? With something connected up here like this. Yeah. So when you're done placing your rubber bands, it should look like this. Maybe like a flipped over unicorn horn. Yeah. Or a V. I don't know. Just make sure it looks like this, guys. Mm -hmm. Now what am I going to do? You're going to flip over the bottom band, uh, remember? Yeah. We're still doing the rows. Blue. Blue 
is the bottom of the fan for us, so we're supposed to. So we oh no, perfect. No, no, nothing happened. Okay, now we're gonna flip over. And if it's too hard for you to flip over both bottom bands at the same time, you could flip one band over and then the other band over. If it's easier. Oops, the camera. Yeah, yeah, that's, a little way e that's way easier. Yeah. So you can do one band first, like my sister's doing. As you guys can see, let me just zoom in. Or you should do, or you can do the hard way. Or you can do it the hard way, yeah. If you want to be hardcore, hardcore. <laughs> Are you done flipping over all yes. of your bands? Yes. Great, guys. So now we're going to show you how to close this off. So me and my sister. How do you close it off? So to close it off, let me just focus it up here. To close it off, ooh, my camera's in bed. So you're just not, you're not going to add a new row. There should be two colored rubber bands on here. You're just going to flip over the bottom bands. Okay. Not adding a new row. Okay, guys. So flip over the bottom bands. So now, um, oh my God, what's happening? Okay, so now we can go ahead and push our... <coughs> thing down. So this is how <laughs> ours looks actually. Mm. Pretty cute. Yeah, so now there should be two bands left. So now you're going to choose a pin to put all of your bands on. I'm going to choose this pin. You can choose this pin, this pin, this one, whatever you want. But I'm going to choose this one. So you're going to grab this band and put it over. Whoa. And put it over to this pin like that then my sister will do these two and i'll do this one then it is kind of like hard, hard. <laughs> but i'm sure she can do it so okay i can push this screen back so you can put it in a good configuration for nikki can I do one by one? Yeah, you can do one by one. You can also do one, guys. One by one. Same thing we were doing when flipping over the bands. Because my sister is kind of like a beginner, so random applause for my sister, guys. Ooh. Here, you want the light? Yeah. Oops. It's not good. There. Sorry for the bad lighting, guys, once again. <gasps> and there's a hair. <laughs> Time. Stuck to your bracelet. Because okay, guys. <laughs> so now we're going to do this part. Okay. So now there's, all of your bands should be on one pin. On one pin. So there should only be. So we're going to zoom in. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to stick your hook through all of these bands. You can just, we're going to tie a slit knot off here. You're going to stick your hook through all of these bands. So you can just pull the band through and then slit knot it. But for me, it's a little easier to stick my hook through all of the bands. Yep. And then take it off of the monster tail. She's kind of like my sister. This. Is not a beginner. She's a... She's amazing. Oh, guys, I was just editing this video, and I just heard what my sister said. My sister is so cute. My angel. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So, ow. <laughs> my sister, guys, to the max, amazing. I love you. Mm. So now you can keep on watching this video. Not bracelets and even on. Oh, you're so nice. So now you're going to grab the next color in the color scheme. And you're, be careful with this part. And then you're going to pull. Because 
you don't want to pull it crazy and then all of your bands go off and then your creation is ruined, right? Yeah. So, it's flu- what you can do, <laughs> what you can do is just grab bands little by little and then put it on there like this, like how I'm doing it. Or you can just be a risk taker and just pull all the bands through at the same time. So now this side, you're going to reclaim back onto your hook and you're going to tie a slit knot like this. Sophia, I can do it. Nope, I can't do a triangle. And then do it really hard. Hard. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and grab a hook. I'm going to grab my other metal hook. I have a bunch of metal hooks, guys. And then we're going to stick it through the flower right here through the top. And we're going to go inside of all these. Whoa. And then this part, you can leave it just like this. But I don't like how it looks like this. First you twist it and then go on your, and then go on your hook and twist it again. So you're just going to twist it around your hook two times. And or three, as much as you like. And then you can just press it down and you hide it. Yeah. So that is how to make... A hook cozy on the monster tail. I like Hope you guys it. enjoyed this video. I like and subscribe, like and share. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. I like this one the most. <laughs>